So normally this would be the video where I watch my previous project and analyze it. Give some behind the scene info, talk about how it can be improved over the course of watching this video. But that's not what's happening this time. This is in some ways that kind of analysis, but it's also its own project. Because this project, this analysis of Eggman Land kind of broke me. I hated it. Although maybe hate is a strong word. Because I mean, I love Eggman Land. So I mean, I, it's, it's, it's more so I just... You know, I, I don't like, I obviously didn't hate the concept of the video. And, and it has nothing to do, obviously, with the, with the lower view count. That was definitely expected. Uh, it obviously, you know, it's a little bit of a shock to your system because of the like overwhelming success of the previous one. Uh, but I, I was pretty, I, I knew ahead of time that it was going to be less. And it's going to just, you know, it's, it's fine because it's going to try to keep improving and developing over the course of multiple projects. And that's fine. So, um, but with that being said, I, I, let's, let's first go over my, my neutral thoughts on, on this project. So for one, uh, why did it take so long? I feel like I have to kind of answer this like every project I work on. Uh, and it's arguably, it's, it's more for me rather than for you. Uh, but it's more so, I, I think it's because I can't, like, I, I, the reason I need to talk about it is it's, I can't really shake my own fear and insecurity uh, about the, I think, where I feel like it's almost necessary to have a consistent and almost constant upload schedule for YouTube because of the algorithm. Um, so that's, that's always kind of difficult to think about. And I always have to kind of like think about, okay, why did this take so long and explain because of it? Uh, but the reason it took so long was due to you know, a variety of personal stuff that got in the way. Uh, and, and But largely, and this is ties in obviously to this video, was it, it was a loss of like a lot of motivation and just general frustration was the project. Uh, and there's definitely gonna be plenty of time to explore the frustration later in this video. Uh, but for, for lacking motivation, it's just kind of difficult to think about. Uh, because when I first started the project, I was, I was so passionate about it. I was just really, I felt really good about it. I, I was excited, um, which I am usually about any of the projects I start, to be honest. But um, when I started this, when, when things just kept going on and on uh, and things developed, I, I just started to enjoy it and, and feel less, I guess, value from working on it. You know, there was just something that wasn't clicking for me right off. Uh, the script felt a bit off, which, I mean, I'm kind of used to that because I feel like in my head, all my scripts always kind of feel off. Um, and, it's, and, and it's arguably somewhat to my pretty harsh self-criticism uh, that, that I have to work to rein in just so I can even get the videos out in the first place. Uh, but I think this one in particular just did not ever feel right, like at all. Um, and and the reason I continue to, you know, I, I move forward in that capacity is because, you know, I know it, there's going to be improvements. And it's one of the reasons I also just upload the videos in general, right? It's... You know, regardless of what it ends up being in terms of quality, it's like there there is a, you know, there's value in seeing my overall development with these projects. You know, there's value in seeing um, how things are improving or, or worsening maybe. But generally, I would say overall, overall improvement um, in terms of how I approach them. Which, which is good. Uh, with that being said, criticisms. Uh, so first off, lazy work. You know, of course, the, the idea of laziness as a concept is, you know, obviously complicated and nuanced and more than I have time uh, to talk about in this, you know, for this video. Uh, but the work was not made with eccentric energy. 
or, or really close to that. Um, I think you can see that in the script and the vocal audio quality and in the section transitions and I mean the section transitions you know transitions are something I've struggled with for quite a while uh, it's almost always cut to black and there, there there was at a time I think some level of creative you know ingenuity with the Yu Yu Hakusho and Super Metroid videos but I, I just feel like that haven't that hasn't been appearing much lately at the very least I you know there's I've developed some ideas for how to improve that in the future and I have a couple couple good things I'm going to try to implement uh, and utilize in terms of inspiration from other videos and you know media uh, and I, and I want to try to do the the creative title cards again because I think there is a I had a lot of enjoyment in doing that I just need to figure out how to keep them natural which I think is a little difficult in certain aspects, but I, I feel like I, I, it's it's definitely doable. It's just going to take some time to figure out on my on my approach, um, and I have to not lose energy in that capacity. Um, so for the script issues, uh, I've already made decisions, and these decisions have already been put into action for the the next two projects I'm working on uh, and that the the script's just gonna be in the oven for a lot longer uh, or maybe not a lot longer but like you know a bit longer so I can really like read over it uh, over and over again and like kind of work through it to make sure the quality I think is is better and up to par uh, and I'm just gonna I'm trying to slow myself down a little get a little bit where I, I think I just moved too quickly from the draft phase and I think a lot of what happens is, is you know, there's been multiple times during the later stages of a project where I just kind of realize how much better things could be or, or certain mistakes that I've made. And at that point, it just becomes, you know, obviously it's, it's too late. It's too late at that point. Uh, and it's also in those moments where I recognize the, the audio and speech issues. And while the, the speech issues are going to require, you know, long-term development to get them improved um, and, and kind of figure it out, it doesn't really excuse the quality that has, I feel like, almost consistently been coming out. Where a lot of words aren't coming out clearly and there's an awkward monotone type of speaking. It just doesn't sound natural for me. And, like, I know I can sound natural in recordings. I would argue this recording right now is for the most part you know much more natural than than I have been but but it's something I need to spend like a lot much just larger time working through you know same as with the scripts you know I can't I can't move it out of the oven too early so the last issue I want to talk about is um, kind of about length of the project and what effects this has had on the script and how much info of the, the subject in, in particular is covered. So for this project, it was like a short, concise 10 minutes. Um, and because of the subject matter itself, it just misses a lot of what should have been brought up uh, in analyzing the execution and quality of Eggman Land. Um, and that was obviously frustrating because my goal was to, to make a short video because I can make that in a quick amount of time and have these things come out at least more consistently, but I also have to force things to be shorter and, and cut out what should have been in there if this was like a really fleshed out analysis. Because there's not really a way to fully explore Eggman Land and the mechanics and conditions in which it exists without like more time allocated. And, and that is something I, I wanna be a lot more careful about in the future when I, when I choose projects that I wanna move forward with. Uh, it's also why I think I'm going to try to increase the length of my, my videos overall to kind of just better adapt to that where where I think 9 and 10 minutes is, is way too short. Uh, for me. It's too short for me personally. So, Im improvements. Uh, I think for one, the, the analytical aspects have, have improved and that was definitely more of what I wanted. 
even though uh, the video itself was too short. But I think I think that part of it was solid enough. And of course, it's going to be uh, improved over time. Keeping the video super concise was also an accomplishment, uh, given the amount of time the subject, you know, was definitely fleshed out, I think, as much as it could have been, at least in a natural way. And again, improvements can be made there. Uh, and I think understanding what can be improved, I think, has had a, a major step forward. Uh, if the description, you know, reading out right now is any indication. And I think that part's super important. And, uh, and I, I am definitely proud of that, at least. Where, you know, understanding the issues is super important in, in moving forward. Uh, but I think the improvement I, I'm probably the most glad for was the, the realization I made in audio recording. You know, and, I, and I figured out a little why things have not sounded the way they should. And it was because of how I was speaking. So I'm trying to better develop an ability to kind of utilize a little bit more confidence and loudness in my script recordings. And I think that's a major development. Um, so I need to channel it more in, in natural ways, closer to how I, would, you know, again, would speak without a script in front of me. So that's good. Um, and this is the this is the last section, which is the what I, I've called the pivot of passion. So so what's next? Let's let's answer that. So right now I have I have two projects I've been working on side by side. Um, and I think this is going to help a little bit with the motivation because I can just switch between them when I get bored or, you know, burned out. Uh, the rough drafts have mostly been finished by the time I've written and recorded this. Um, but again, I, I'm going to give them more time to breathe and time to develop and really make sure it's, it's kind of closer to what I want. Um, and I think writing is something I've just got to need to improve uh, overall. Right? It needs to be filled with some energy, and I know I have the ability, but it's just I'm not utilizing it um, properly, which is, you know, that kind of point of frustration. Uh, but it also brings me to, you know, this potential pivot uh, after these next two projects. And that's is uh, that I would like to incorporate, I think, more of my own kind of passionate interest and field of study into into the projects I work on right and there's still going to be a media focus and it's not like you know the the, the work I've already done and how, like, things like that will, will still be made uh, but I think this change is going to allow you know more passion and more energy to kind of be brought forth into the the end result of the work, but also into, you know, its development, which I think is probably the most important part. Um, I also just think it's it's going to be important for, for my own future to start kind of incorporating these things more and, you know, maybe carve out more of a niche potentially, um, but we'll, we'll have to see, you know, how that stuff goes, you know. Uh, and the, the the last little note I think I would like to make before I end a little, little video is, you know, why I've been making these types of self-analysis and behind-the-scenes videos in the first place. Uh, luckily, it's, it's quite simple. I, I strive for development, for progress, and for success. These things are impossible without understanding what went wrong or what didn't you know what didn't work to understand these things we must you know actively participate in self-criticism there cannot be any type of you know positive development without self-criticism and it needs to be you know an active and passionate criticism you know with with empathy of course right and an understanding of the material and so social conditions in which you know my work and in which I, myself, uh, you know, exist. Um, right, and you know, maybe there's more to discuss about that and what that means, but for now, I think that's where I'm gonna end things. Um, thanks for watching, you know. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever. 
ഓറ്റം